Hello, we are in the hangar at Maury Airport in Middleton, Wisconsin, talking to Susan, Susan Schwab, and she is the head of a really cool um, outreach effort that's going on here in, in Madison area called Above the Clouds. Susan, tell us a little bit about what this program is and what's going to happen today. Above the Clouds started in Boston seven years ago. Um, it's a nonprofit organization and the mission statement is bringing joy and hope through the wonder of flight. And it really targets kids who are from disadvantaged or underserved backgrounds or kids experiencing some kind of serious adversity such as homelessness or illness or a variety of issues going on in their lives. The relationships that we've had is kind of spurned out of this need for seeing that children need three things. They need to see experiences, they need to be exposed to different things, and they need something that can educate them on something different. And it's these three things that uh, when Susan started talking about this over two years ago, that we really found a way for us to merge her passions together with what I believe the needs of our children in our community. What's going to happen from the time the kids hit the parking lot? Kind of okay. walk me through the day, what we're going to see today and what's going to go on. We call these dream flight days. And what happens is we assign each child a time to arrive at the airport. The first one will come at 9 o'clock this morning. Um, the next one, 9.30, 10, 10.30, etc. And when they get to the airport, we have them let us know five minutes out when they're going to be here. And we have a whole crew greeting them at the door with um, a sandwich board sign with their name on and balloons and cowbells and everyone's cheering. So they get to the airport, get greeted. So she is going to get you on your flight plan, take you up in the skies, do everything for you to be a girl boss in the skies, all right? They go into the airport conference room and meet their pilot for flight planning. They look at their routing, they look at their charts, they get safety briefings, they get a little mini lesson on how airplanes fly. So what we're gonna do is basically just take off here. We're gonna head this way, which is east, turn and then fly kind of over to cross plains area. And then after Cross Plains, we're just gonna come down here, fly over um, Epic, and then we'll go back inward toward downtown. So then over here, you should be able to see the stadium. We'll circle the Capitol, um, as long as Madison is not too busy because Madison Airport is right here and if um, they've got a lot of traffic. Once you take off, you might wonder, like, how are we gonna find our way back? But um, we kind of use, like, the lake. And then um, they go with their pilot out to the ramp. They help their pilot do a pre-flight of the airplane. They help strain the fuel, etc. Basically, we're going to go around and check the all the lights. We're going to check every single part of the plane, like this thing moves, this part of the plane moves, um, and make sure everything looks good. We're going to check the fuel and the oil. Brake pads are looking good. That part right there is the brake pad. Okay. It's right around this this part. Make sure the tires look good. Like, so you can see there's like, here is the engine. So I want to check to make sure there's oil. Yep. Let's see if oil and it's hot. What's that? That's the uh, fuel? Yeah. Do you want to do the other side? Okay. Aviation fuel is blue, so as you can see, like when I'm holding it up, I know the sky is blue, but like it's still very blue. There's no water in there. If there was water, it would be clear. Okay. And then they load up into the airplane. They bring a passenger along normally, not always, but normally, which would be like a parent, guardian, or sibling. We get lots of pictures going on. They have a personal photographer that takes all their pictures. And um, then they go for a flight, 40 minute flight. They fly around the Madison area. They get a city tour. They go circle the state capitol. Then they go out to the practice area out in the country and get their own little flight lesson. So they get to fly the plane themselves.
So they get to grab the sticks and they, actually... Uh, they grab the yoke. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun. It's so much fun. They love that. By the end of these flights, these kids are absolutely beaming. So they finish their flight, they land, they get greeted by all the volunteers, everyone's cheering, waving. They come in back into the flight office, they get their own flight jackets with their names on their flight jackets and their little aviator sunglasses. You just went up in the sky and flew a plane, so every time you think you can't do something, I don't know, I don't have, ah, uh, ah, uh, you just remember, you took off, you flew, and we expect you to take flight. So here is the official bomber jacket. I tried it on myself, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it, so you're going to put that on, all right? Yay! I'm going to be that. I'm going to be protective shield. That's right. I'm going to be in Spain next week, guys. Watch <laughs> that. All right. And then every official pilot has to have something special that makes it official. So if you'll just reach in your pocket into the official. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Then they sign our Above the Clouds log book about their experience and we put their picture in there and um, that's their day. It's really amazing to see the transformation from when these kids get to the airport, so nervous, so shy, they don't want anyone to look at them. And by the end of getting out of the airplane, they are just like transformed. They're just beaming, waving at everyone. So really changed. It's really great to see. So this level of the program is called Dream Flyers, and then we have this Dream Flight Day like we did today. The next level is called Discovery Flyers. That is where we have a child and a pilot paired up together, and the pilot becomes a mentor for the child, and they fly together once a month, once every month and a half, and having a continuing relationship involving aviation. And then for those kids, who are just really, really enthused about flying. The next level is called cadet flyers. And those kids, we will take through solo. Those are 16 year olds at this point. So we will take them through solo and then we help them along in an aviation career should they choose to do that. So the goal of this program, like we said, is bringing joy and hope through the wonder of flight. And really it's all about inspiring these kids and letting them know that there's so many opportunities available to them in life and they can do these things. To have them know that there's much more than they've seen so far in their life and to reach for more.